for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. What an unbelievable venue and backdrop for this mixed martial arts event here tonight. You know, the first stadium show we ever did was at Rogers Center in Toronto. Here we are at the Scotiabank Tennis. UFC 129, 50,000 fans. But tonight, we're in Toronto, the Scotiabank Arena, which has also been home to some great UFC title fights. Set the pace, hit it first. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hey, 
Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Got clip with a right hand. Good punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Nermago Meta. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big left hook there. He slips the punch. And they set. Nice strike. Nice hit, bro. Nice. Three minutes. How good is that right hand? And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Switching stances here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he is, he is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nice straight punch. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Body kick lands right on the Back and forth we go! Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good punch, land. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Nice kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> nice counter left hook. Beautiful body kick. Punch is blocked. Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Rips the body there. Big shot from the body. Final seconds here of round one. Hook is there again. What a fight so far. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Hey, round, round one, ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even at the two saw. 
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nurmagomedov's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. He missed with that jab attempt there. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Ooh, big shot lands. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that off. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, oh, he's hurt bad. Take your time, take your time, relax, relax. Oh, straight right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, strong punch there by Nermago Meta. Big leg kick land. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Real quick leg kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's going kick after kick after kick. He blocks the punch. Liver kick. Throws the right hand there. <laughs> right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that punch. Nice punch lands over the top. They continue to exchange. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. What a punch. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Can't take many of those. You better check. Straight right is there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch, Lance. 15 seconds. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very... The inside, he's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice defense there. Huge block. Great punch landed with so much power. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Nermago Medov. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nermago Medov going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Relax, keep those hands up. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Blocks the shot. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and... that off with DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Great punch. Lands the right hand. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Oh, oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over. Huge oh. connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. We can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Big punch land. Boom. Well, looks as though his foot here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Beautiful head kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, 
Very nice leg kick there by Nermago Meadow. Beautiful strike. Final seconds of round three. Nice kick landed there by Nermago Medov. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible Ready? five. Ready? And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has to You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That's a big strike right there. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Massive head kick! I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Good body work with that hook by Nermago Meta. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Back and forth we go. Nice punch there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Meta. Good stick. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Head kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a, a brutal kick. Yeah. Oh, elbow to the head there by Nermago Medov. Medov's kick to the body is blocked. 
Good right here. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Oh, oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Keep it. Oh! Another knockdown! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Seconds remain in the round. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body. And those, those shots, no play shot there, DC. He is officially run. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh! Oh, nice high kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big kick lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. His leg is hurt here, you can see him limping a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. It's a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Let's focus, let's focus now. Straight right, he misses. Right hand upstairs. Big kick lands. All right, take your time, take your time, relax. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He just landed a nice left hook there. I feel, I feel, I feel. A big body kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Nice kick. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Nice punch lands over the top. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity.
And there he is, the baddest man on the planet, all smiles tonight. UFC heavyweight champion and your winner by TKO here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him getting new.